I really didn't think that I was going to be making a video about Will Smith on my channel, but here we are now talking about him. I guess as a Christian, you have to always expect the unexpected. I actually grew up watching Will Smith, and I have no issues with him at all. However, there is something very demonic going on in gospel music, and unfortunately, he may be a part of it, whether he knows it or not. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down down below if you are new and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video without further ado Let's get into it. Many people are shocked as Will Smith just performed a song that looked like a satanic ritual at the BET Awards. Now I have to show you the pictures only because if I show you a video, I'm gonna get a copyright claim from BET and they're gonna flag the video completely and you guys won't be able to see it. In a recent collaboration with Kirk Franklin and Chandler Moore, Will Smith debuted a supposed gospel song at the BET Awards. However, fans were shocked at the satanic imagery that was displayed at the show and soon realized that this gospel song didn't even mention Jesus Christ at all. People also pointed out that this setup looked very similar to Sam Smith's previous demonic performance. And it's interesting how they're both in a circle during this song because in the occult, they actually create circles and then summon demons through the circles and they believe that a circle is a place that confines the demons so they can't leave it similar to a cage. So I find this very interesting because just like in the Sam Smith performance, Will Smith is also performing inside of a circle. Not to mention Kirk Franklin was wearing high heels, which caused some to speculate that this could be a part of a humiliation ritual. A common initiation process in Hollywood where men publicly emasculate themselves on large platforms to send a subconscious message of their ownership to the elite. Although the performance mentions Christian undertones about God and the devil, this does not mean that Will Smith was singing about the biblical God because he's been very vocal about his new age beliefs and denies Christianity as the only way to God. In this interview a few years back, he talks about how him and his wife Jada went on a spiritual journey to study all of these different religions. And at the end of the clip, you'll realize that a lot of his beliefs about God are very new age and straight up unbiblical. We would take a year and we would study all of these traditions as a, you know, really as a way of the two of us bonding spiritually and, and you know, intellectually around the concepts. And, you know, we went through Kabbalah um, and, uh, you know, Scientology. And re really what was happening is every time I would meet someone who was of a different tradition, I would allow that person to introduce me to what their uh, tradition was. Um, and then I did Ali, and so we circled back around to the Quran during, during that time. But we really just, we, we love the, the idea of, of spirituality and the study of the love of God. This is a key point that shouldn't be looked over here. Will Smith is equating all of these religious books to his study about the love of God. The reality is these holy books that are not the Bible are written by fallen angels and they have nothing to do with the creator of the universe at all. Anything that denies that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father is of the devil, period. I don't care if I sound like a crazy religious nut for saying that. It's just the truth, so get over it. Um, and... Uh, we, we don't necessarily believe in organized religion. We believe that the organizations kind of jump ahead of the spirituality. You know, the, the, you know, the church of Christ is very different than Christ, the, the, the steps that Christ actually walked, you know. So we started to notice uh, those kinds of differences, and we just, we really just wanted to find um, the truth, mm. you know, what is the truth? And you see how my whole family dives in. The kids are doing it yeah, yeah, yeah. now, you know, with the, with the, the Gita. And it's, yeah. and it's really, uh, just, just trying to find our way you know, in, in this world. Unfortunately, many of these religious books are just feel-good pamphlets that give you a pat on the back and tell you good life quotes, but they never talk about crucifying your sinful desires. Good life quotes are not going to lead you towards salvation. Now, I have no issues with Will Smith trying to find his way in the world. The reason why I played that clip is to show you that as far as Will Smith's believe in God, it's more on the New Age side rather than the biblical side, because the New Age side will propagate this lie that, oh yeah, all of these religions, we can coexist with one 
one another. It's all the same God, but if you study these other religions, they all contradict each other. And at least the monotheistic ones claim that their God is the only God. So how can Islam and Christianity be the same God? If you study both of the books and you see a clear distinction that the God of both of those books are saying that they are completely different from one another. New Age beliefs are just a lack of understanding and a lack of research too, because, you know, they want to be inclusive to all of these different cultures and religions, but they don't actually want to study them. They just like the inclusivity of it because part of it may be a virtue signaling thing. I don't know. Either way, life is too short to virtue signal. <laughs> Here's the issue. New Agers believe in God as well. They just believe in a false God that has nothing to do with the definitive truth of the real attributes of the creator. Many Christians get excited when celebrities talk about God, but if they're not directly talking about Jesus Christ, then it really means nothing because Jesus Christ is the only way that we can have salvation. You're not going to obtain salvation through the Muslim's God, which is also a demon. You're not going to obtain salvation through Hindu gods, which are also fallen angels. You're only going to obtain salvation through Jesus Christ, who is the only God of the universe. Just because these other religions talk about God doesn't mean it's actually about God because they're worshiping demons. So I don't I don't know what else to tell you. Will Smith asked the question earlier in the interview about what is the truth, but given his Christian upbringing, it's been in front of him the whole time. John 14, 6 tells us what the truth really is. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There is no other way to God outside of Jesus. And anyone who tells you otherwise has worshipped a God of their own choosing, which will ultimately lead to eternal separation from the real creator of the universe. And I just want to clarify again, I'm not bashing Will Smith at all. I grew up watching his movies, I really enjoyed him as an actor. I remember watching The Pursuit of Happiness as a child and it brought me to tears. But the reason I brought this up is to show you that there's a clear agenda at hand to mix Christianity with the world and he may be doing this knowingly or unknowingly. However, the beauty of following Christ is that we are nothing like the world at all because we actually have a better life to offer than the world has to offer. A life through Jesus Christ which gives you deliverance, healing, and freedom as well as unspeakable joy. So when you taint the gospel message with humiliation rituals, New Age, as well as satanic imagery, you inevitably water down the message of holiness that God has called us to live by, and you also diminish the true power of the gospel itself. If you want to see Will Smith return back to the faith that he was raised in, I want you to comment down below, Will Smith will be saved. By the way guys, I officially dropped the lyric video for my new song, Yahweh Colin. It's on my music channel, so if you want to check that out, that's in the description below. Also, if you guys want to support this ministry financially, I also have an offering link that's in the description, as well as merch that's also in the description. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. We don't necessarily believe in organized religion. We believe that the organizations jump ahead of the spirituality. Bruh.